Hello and welcome to Electronics for Absolute Beginners. The purpose of this video is to show how a transistor can be used to switch on an LED. We need the following parts. A small breadboard on which to build the circuit. A 9 volt battery. Some means of connecting the battery to the breadboard. two 5mm LEDs, doesn't matter what colour they are, but they need to be the same colour, ideally. For example, you can have two red LEDs, two green LEDs, two yellow LEDs, and so on. We also need one 470 ohm resistor. And also a much larger one, um, say something in the region of 14.7 kilo ohms. And finally we need two jump wires, any colour, a push button switch and an NPN transistor. I use a BC546B NPN transistor, but the circuit will probably work with most NPN transistors. The starting point for our transistor controlled circuit is a simple circuit in which a single LED is illuminated when a battery is connected. The circuit can be easily extended to include a switch, a second resistor R2, a second LED, LED2 and an MPN transistor Q. Now LED1 will only illuminate when the transistor is switched on by applying power, voltage and current to the transistor's base. The purpose of LED2 in the circuit is simply to demonstrate that the current being applied to the base is very small. LED2 will only just about be illuminated when the switch is closed, whereas LED1 will be illuminated to the same intensity as it was previously before the circuit was modified. To switch the transistor on, a signal needs to be applied to the base. With a sufficient current at the base, current can then flow between the collector and the emitter. In order to allow current to flow to the base, the switch needs to be closed. When this happens, the transistor is switched on and current can flow around the circuit. Naturally, in reality, the current flows a lot faster than shown here. Having designed the circuit, we can now build it on a breadboard as shown here. If you have trouble positioning some of the components exactly as shown, move them so that you can conveniently insert them into the breadboard. For example, you might find that the transistor pins are too short to insert them as shown, in which case you can use different holes in the breadboard. The important essential thing is to make sure that you don't break the circuit. You can see that when the push button is pressed, both LEDs are illuminated, but LED1 is a lot brighter than LED2. This is why I suggested using two LEDs of the same colour, just to make it easier to compare their brightness levels. And that's it folks, thank you very much for watching.